It's the final day of live golf at the Greenbrier. John Rahm, the leader, heading into the last round. But Brooks Kepka is right on his heels and hungry for a win. It was an absolutely beautiful day in White Sulphur Springs with fans of all ages on hand for another exciting finish. The leader entering today, like I said, this guy, John Rahm, just two birdies through his first nine. Here he is on the par for 11th going for birdie and it just misses. He would go on to tap it in for par. Rom was neck in neck with Brooks Kepka much of the day. He birdied three of his first four holes, but that 11th green just a bit tricky. Like Rom, he too was just too wide on his putt, went on to save par. This one got so close, they tied on the 18th. It's time for a playoff. That was the approach for Kepka, better than the first time on the green with good distance. Rom, on the other hand, landed his in the back of the bunker. Brooks misses the birdie, taps it in for par. Now it's up to Rom. He has to make this for par and a chance. It's no good. Misses by just a hair. Brooks Kepka takes this one. Here is our sports director, Eric Johnson, in White Sulphur Springs at the Old White TPC with the wrap up. To say live golf at the Greenbrier lived up to par would be both accurate and an understatement. Yet another epic finish on the 18th hole for the second consecutive year. This time, Brooks Kepka outlasting John Rahm in a playoff hole to capture his fifth individual live golf title. I know this was, this was good. I mean, I think this one just meant a little bit more. Um, for the last few years playing John and obviously he got the better of me at Augusta and um, so yeah I just I just wanted to beat him and I mean he played phenomenal today the way he finished down the stretch was pretty pretty clutch and um, it was fun to watch him this week. For much of the day, the leaderboard was like a yo-yo, up and down with multiple guys either taking or sharing the lead. All was well for Brooks Kepka with a two-shot lead heading into 17 when Rahm made a birdie putt that would eventually force a playoff. But in the end, it was the Smash GC team captain coming away with more hardware. Just trying to go compete and go win. I mean, like I said, I've only been in, had a chance to win two of these and I've, I've pulled them off, so... Um, you know, the key is actually being a little bit more consistent. Brooks Kepka leaving West Virginia not only with the individual title, but a team title as well. Smash GC telling the rest of the field they not like us. Carding a 53 under par, three shots better than Ripper GC. At the Greenbrier for Live Golf, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.